I'm Coach Joyner from East Hall High School. Casey Norred from East Hall High School. And we are going to talk about our passion projects that we've been doing the past couple weeks. So if you look around the classroom, we've got a table here with some QR codes. We've got a couple of physical projects. I've got a, a shack here that a child made. I've got a couple of art things. Um, this big table over here has a few physical projects. Um, We've got a motor here that a kid made. We've got some decorations over there. Um, but we're also littered with some QR codes. So I've got some kids that wanted to actually build something like the motor, like the shack. And we've got some kids that actually wanted to create like um, with the art projects. We also had some kids that wanted to actually physically present something. So they were able to record themselves or create a, an electronic representation of their presentation and then we make QR codes for them. So Casey's going to show us some of the some of the QR codes of specific kids that we were particularly impressed with. A lot of what Josh is skipping is the background work that went into getting to where we are today. Um, several of these kids we had to sit down one-on-one -on -one and talk to you about what are they passionate about and have hard conversations about what are they really interested in and um, there was a lot of time and effort that went into that long before we started. It was like three days. That was several days of both of us talking to kids, um, pulling really hard about what do you hate, let's start there, or if you're not passionate about anything, and, and then trying to steer kids towards things they're going to do for the rest of their lives. Being passionate about high school basketball is amazing, however, are you really going to play high school basketball in your 30s? Maybe not. You're going to coach? Maybe. So it's that whole push those kids to know who they are and um, discover something about themselves and each other hopefully. So um, we've had some awesome kids do some really neat things. Um, had a student learn to play the ukulele which has been hilarious in class and we're working on that. Um, several students wrote um, and then the QR codes are them reading their writing or reading the process or how the process goes. Um, there's a couple raps, there's um, another student taught herself a new song on the piano. We had a couple guys work on motors, and so their QR codes are videos of their motors and what their their automobile motor, not a small motor, mm. <laughs> small engine motor, right? Um, it's been really eye-opening trying to push them outside their comfort zone or their typical comfort zone. And I think the hardest thing for a lot of kids has been kids that are good at school have a really difficult time with this. Right. This has not been a project where you can sit and get, or that you can regurgitate information, um, which has not been easy for the kids who typically get A's. And that's been part of pushing us as well, is to push them. Just a quick question to see if y'all are on your game and leading the students. Quickly, ladies first. Casey, what is your passion? Oh. Which one? <laughs> the first which, one that comes which, to your mind. Which one? Making something. I want to make something. Create something, right? Create something. Something. I, I love to do the same thing. I love building things, but um, I also love coaching and I love you know leading um, kids in the classroom and on the on the field. Um, those those are two things that I'm really passionate about. Thank y'all, guys.